Today we're going to make a grilled Aura King salmon and we're going to use some of summer's all-star ingredients. I've got sweet summer corn, a variety of tomatoes, lots of fresh herbs. But first, I want to talk about the salmon that I'm using. I have two beautiful fillets of Aura King salmon from Seatopia. And Seatopia is truly a sustainable fish company. I am so proud to be working with them. James, the founder, is really doing amazing work for our environment with this company. Um, all of the fish gets delivered in a box. You get a variety of seafood, and all of the packaging is 100% compostable, which is just magical because you know, how many boxes do we get a week? Um, what this appears to be plastic, it's actually corn, and once you take the seafood out, you can rinse this out and place it in the compost bin. It's magic, I swear. Um, but we're gonna do the salmon on the grill, so I'm gonna set it aside, and we're gonna prep our tomatoes and our corn, and then we'll step outside for the grill. So we're gonna be making a succotash of sorts. A succotash is corn, tomatoes, a little bit of shallots. Um, you've got a kick of heat from a jalapeno and then a punch of acid from lemon. So all of these sweet summer flavors are the perfect match for anything on a grill. So we're gonna cut the corn off the cob and then roast it in a pan with the tomatoes. And I want those tomatoes to just burst in the pan with a little bit of garlic. It's gonna coax so much flavor out of them. And we're gonna take half of the tomatoes and slice them, and the others, we're gonna let them just burst in the pan. So this is one of my favorite ways to cook corn. You can eat it as, on its own as a salad. You can add some fresh pasta to it. It's really just a great way to highlight the ingredient. So we're going to add some shallots first. We're gonna turn down our heat. And I like to slice all of my ingredients in different shapes because it gives it a lot of texture when you're eating it. And my favorite way to cook garlic is just to grate it. We're going to add our tomatoes next. And a big hit of salt. And the tomatoes are going to get nice and saucy here, and that's what we want. Fresh cracked pepper here. You don't want to overcook the corn just until it turns that deep golden color, and you are ready to turn off the heat and add your acid from the lemon. And we want to turn off the heat because we want to keep that zippiness from the lemon instead of trying to cook it off. All right, so we've added lemon zest. Now we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Give this a quick stir, and we'll set this aside and grill our salmon. So I wanna talk a little bit about Seatopia and their mission before we grill up these tasty fillets of salmon. Um, because there's so much information out there right now um, around the seafood industry and it's definitely been really eye-opening for me personally. Not all the information is true and I've been doing a lot of research and talking to people that are really close in my life that actually have a very direct link to a lot of fishermen. Um, and not all farm fish is created equal and not all farm fish is bad. Um, Seatopia works with completely sustainable small fisheries and they oversee everything from the fish's diet to the environment that they live in and that's what creates that negative or positive with a farmed fish. Seatopia is offering a really, really generous discount for your next box that you order. So I will provide the link for you, but it's Olivia Muniak 25. Um, so I encourage you to try out their seafood, order a box. You've got so many different varieties of fish and you can make this recipe. All right, so to grill the salmon, we're gonna do something that some of you might be like, what, she's crazy. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of aioli. I made this one from scratch. You can use plain old Hellman's if you want, 
but using the aioli instead of oil actually really helps the fish not stick to the grill or to your pan. You will never go back to cooking fish the old way. So we're going to just brush it on here. And this just gives so much flavor, but it also creates this like nonstick slick on the fish, which is way better than using a nonstick Teflon pan, which is also chemicals. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. By a little bit, I need a lot of it. So I pulled the salmon off the grill. We've got some really nice char marks. We're gonna let this rest while we prepare our herb salad. And I like whole leaves of herbs. It packs so much flavor into your food. So I've got whole parsley leaves, cilantro, um, some dill, and then I've got joy choy and pea shoots. So I'm just kind of scrounging for any hard stems that aren't gonna be as pleasant to eat. We're gonna to toss those away. I'm gonna add a drizzle of olive oil. Some fresh cracked pepper, some lemon juice, a sprinkle of flaky sea salt. I love the Malden sea salt for finishing a dish. Just gonna give it a quick toss. We're just gonna lay a simple bed of greens and then lay our salmon. A corn succotage. And the best part about this recipe is it can be served piping hot, room temperature, or even cold, which is why I like it for a gathering. That's one of the best parts about salmon, I think, is that it can be enjoyed at any temperature. This is such a yummy summer recipe. If you are interested in trying out the Seatopia seafood, use the code OliviaMunyak25 at checkout. I'm ready to dive right into this.